coming up onto your toes. Like, you shouldn't be able to hear yourself loudly. Um, exactly. You should just be silent. Like, it's not silent, but there is a big difference between yeah. this and this. Yeah. That's so, yeah, you don't even need a mirror for this one. You just have to use your just ears. Just here, yeah. <laughs> What's cracking, Jump Nation family? It's your boy here, Rushi Yes, aka the Jump Rope Coach. Welcome back to the home of Jump Rope Fitness and Lifestyle people. Today we have another injury prevention video with my girl Essie. Can I say what's up? Hey everybody. <laughs> she's got the she's got the, the wisdom and knowledge, people, man, to help you stay safe when you're out there skipping. Um, we have been running a little series, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be the first video or you've already seen Essie before. So we're gonna basically be talking about how to maintain good posture whilst you're skipping, taking care of your lower back. Yeah. If you've been watching this channel, you're gonna see some of this stuff already been said by myself, but we've now got the medical science backed up, <laughs> which is what we want, all right? Remember, if you need to channel, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the links because we have now dropped the Nova Rope is now live, hopefully whilst you're watching this. And uh, yeah, man, go out, support your boy. Essie has herself the money rope. I do. And we are gonna show you guys, uh, yeah, some good forms, some good techniques and keep you safe whilst you have your rope. So let's get straight into this. What you're showing us today is truly what are the kind of common beginner mistakes. Yeah. Sometimes even if you're not a beginner, you might see people doing this mm -hmm. and we're gonna correct them and we're gonna tell them why it's bad for them, right? Yeah. So to take care of your lower back, do you wanna go through the first point and we can try and show them the bad way and then the good way? Yeah, so the first point is to not skip with your shoulders hunched forward. Okay. Yeah. So you see a lot of this, is it? So, I mean, you can join me if you want. You can show, you can show them how it might look. So if we face that way, we're basically saying that sometimes people skip. Is it like, it's kind of just like a curved back, as yeah. it were? So you're kind of like hunched over. Yeah. Shoulders forward. Yeah, this feels And hard. I think people do this to kind of stop themselves from tripping on the rope. It's like you're trying to make yourself smaller. Um, this yeah. happens a lot with double unders, I see. So they kind of jump and they're trying to make themselves like a little ball. Exactly, yeah. I'm going to try this actually. Maybe this is how I start, but I can't remember. So it's like. Yeah. Yeah, exactly you do see that. that. So yeah. it's kind of like the whole posture is like curved. Mm -hmm. And what's that kind of doing to the back? I know it sounds a bit obvious, but. I mean, so what it's going to do, less with the back and more of your pelvis, it actually tilts your pelvis in a posterior way. Yeah. Um, so your pelvis is kind of like tilting forward. Um, and it's just not a very comfortable position it's for not. your back to be in. So. And I imagine it's not engaging the core muscles. It's not because you're kind of like folding forward. It's diff more difficult to engage yeah. whilst you're in that position. Okay, so stay away from that if that looks a little bit like what you're doing. Remember, if it's you know, difficult to see how you're looking, Try using a mirror, try record yourself, uh, side angle. Side on, yeah. Side on would be good. Um, um, yeah, let's give it a whirl. So really, we're trying to get to a point where it's kind of like what? Stretched out feeling back a yeah, little bit? Yeah, your, your spine should be kind of neutral. Neutral, so yeah. So like look straight forward. Yeah. Just a soft gaze straight ahead. Um, and that's it really. Yeah. Yeah. I always tend to tell people that to feel like their chest is a little bit kind of out, mm. just to kind of let them engage their core. Yeah. I'm not trying to shit, am I? No, yeah. you're not. Sick, all right. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we get debunked, man. The whole of Rush Athletics <laughs> methodology. Like, no, <laughs> no, but I've always kind of felt this. Yeah, I was just saying to your camera, like I've always felt like my shoulders a little bit back. Yeah. But we could talk about that another point. Yeah. What's, um, what's the next kind of common error you see in um, terms of So form? kind of like the opposite of hunching is arching your back. Right, going opposite way. Yeah. So like some, and you see this, isn't it? You see people like, yes. they tend to sort of, I find when they're sometimes doing crossovers, yeah. they'll do this and they'll go like, yeah. And that with double unders maybe yeah. as well. And they yeah. start going backwards. Yes. So how, um, how does that affect the back? Um, so I spoke about the posterior tilt of the pelvis. This tilts the pelvis like it's an anterior pelvic tilt. Right. So it's almost like your, your butt sticks out a little bit. Yeah. But even if you stand in that position, it's really not comfortable. So no. okay. I'm gonna again, try and, I'm gonna try and skip like this again. engage the core either. Okay, so, so they're doing this kind of thing. Yeah. They'll see it from this second angle, how this looks, but. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. feel comfortable. It doesn't look great either. I'm not saying no, you yeah, don't it doesn't. Look good, yeah. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm happy it doesn't look good because we don't show that. Posture wise, it doesn't look great. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I like to have a little tilt mm -hmm. just as it because it allows me to do my crosses and yeah. my things. So you don't have to be, I guess, dead straight, guys. You don't need to be like, yeah. Yeah. You don't. Just, a, just a very nice, comfortable, neutral. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, look after your, your spine in that way. Mm -hmm. What's uh, another common form or technique thing that can impact the lower back? 
Um, heavy landing. Ah, my favourite. <laughs> heavy landing, so landing on the entire sole of the foot. Yeah. So, um, this is how this looks, guys. You want to try it with me? Yeah. Gosh. Sorry for the noise. I mean, it's noisy, <laughs> it's funky, it's not, you know, your ankles, your knees, your hips, like nothing's going to... I just feel like a shock going just, in to the ground and yeah. then coming, and then a shock hitting, like, through And going me. all the way up. Why do you think people skip like this when they first start? I mean, we've all been there, kind of. I mean, I think so, there are so many things that you need to think about when you're trying to get your technique yeah. right. And I feel like when you're kind of overthinking, you'll just think, I think, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> it's weird you know. when you look back on it, right? So like, I mean, if this looks like you for now, I'm, I'm sure it's not if you're following me. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> but the point is this, is, is we don't really want to be seeing flex knees. We don't want to see harsh landings, no. um, flat feet landings. Yeah. Uh, maybe there's some people that are flat footed, maybe they find it difficult. Yeah, true. But what's the fix here? I mean, they kind of know, but it's, we're, we're feeling like the um, heels just are off. Just coming up onto your toes, like you shouldn't be able to hear yourself loudly. Um, exactly. You should just be silent. Like, it's not silent, but there is a big difference between yeah. this and this. Yeah. So yeah, you don't even need a mirror for this one. You just have to use your just ears. Just here, yeah. <laughs> just take, take the music out and just, yeah man, just feel light on your feet. And yeah. another, another good tip I'll have to like pitch in here is like, I always feel like actually the weight is going this way mm -hmm. rather than down. You're going up, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's just what's going to give you that lighter looking feel. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, stay on the balls of your feet, of course. Yeah. Like that, but yeah, yeah. That, that, that already hurt yeah. my lower back. You know what I mean? Just doing right. that. Yeah. I wonder why people do that. Anyway. <laughs> what's the what's the next kind of um thing that you see maybe um, with don't technique? have your arms out too wide um, yeah. because again this one just generally throws your posture off yeah it also shortens the rope and you could you know you're more likely, more likely. to trip yeah when you're doing that you've probably said that a hundred times but oh, having your arms out wide i feel like you instantly start to arch your back yeah when you do this it's feels so uncomfortable so just bring it in yeah nice and just stay nice and yeah, stay nice and light. It's mad because I, my, so my take on this is that early days skipping, yeah. Rocky, all these boxers, yeah. they all did actually skip like did this. Did they? Yeah. You'll see it, so their arms are always out. I think people always think that to rotate a skipping rope, yeah. your hands need to be 90 degrees, kind of, or like this. Yeah. And so they naturally want to do this. Mm -hmm. So when I tell them about how we've always showed them, and it's like a more of a forward flicking motion and your yeah. elbows are in, they find this a strange concept because mm -hmm. you're not spinning it like this. Yeah. So I think they naturally want to use yeah. their whole arms. I feel arms. like everything's exaggerated. It's yeah. like your arms are too wide and people tend to jump way too high as well. And if so. you're, I guess if you're rotating arms out here, then you're putting stress on your, what's this, rotator cuff, I hope. That's yeah, why I always say shoulder. on the channel. Yeah, shoulder. let's go with shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so the last one is don't look at your feet when you jump. I like this one. Okay, show me how this one will look for someone doing this the I wrong think way. When you're, especially if you're trying like footwork, for instance. Yeah. Um, and you just want to see what your feet are doing. You're just looking at what your feet are doing. But yeah. what you don't realise is that you're coming back into that hunched position again. Yep. Um, and you're going back into that posterior pelvic tilt. Yeah. Um, so whilst you're concentrating on what your feet are doing, you're not realising that you're putting pressure on the lower back. Yeah. The better you get, you realise you actually have to just feel it. Yeah. And it's a timing, it's more of a timing issue, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Mm. So we want to have more neutral eye level. Mm -hmm. Again, nice neutral spine. Yeah. Um, I do tend to sometimes look forward. I do, I have a thing where I say that I look 45 degree down. Yeah. Just because that sometimes this is that natural cue point for me to jump. Yes. But yeah, I once started like this as yeah. well. Yeah, but as in directly down, yeah. Not good. Not good. Not good. Right. I think that covers everything, right? That's it. Let's bring it in. <laughs> Smashed it. Getting good at this YouTube thing, man. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you again to Essie coming down and sharing her no knowledge and wisdom. If again, if there's anything that you guys are suffering with, if it's not lower back pain, if it's something else, let us know in the comments. We'll get Essie back down here and uh, share how you guys can fix yourself. We don't want you getting injured, man. This thing's supposed to help you skip until your 80s and 90s. That's it. And uh, yeah, thank you, man. I'm going to say bye to the crew. Bye, everybody. Take care. Big up, remember, this is now live. Go support your boy, hit the links, and we've got you covered, man. Rush 10 will get you 10% discount. Guys, we'll see you in the next video as always. So take care of yourself, skip the treadmill, stay safe. Peace. Was the night in shining armor in your movie? Well, put your lips on mine and love the aftertaste now.